What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically count and list the number of conditionally formatted cells in each row of a data set. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left I got my VBA editor, on the right I've got a data set of cities with their population, their latitude, and their longitude. And someone reached out with this request. Um, they want to be able to put counting conditionally colored cells like a formula where one row has different conditionally self, uh, colored cells and at the end the cell will have a count that has how many cells of a specific color is in that row. So let's make that happen. Um, the sub we'll go ahead and call it count or let's do list conditional cells per row and we'll declare our variables we've got let's do RNG as range and we'll do RNG cell as range We'll also have a row count as an integer. We'll do a column count as an integer. Um, and then we'll do a conditional count to count the conditionally formatted cells as an integer. And then we'll also have i as an integer. And then we'll go ahead and declare our worksheet. WS is worksheet or worksheet or not workbook. Worksheet. Alright, so now let's set WS equal to this workbook sheet and the name of this uh, sheet is sheet 1. So we'll put sheet 1 in there. And what we'll do is we'll activate the sheet and then we will get our row count and our column count. So for row count, we'll do worksheet function, count A, and we want range to start at A1, so right here in this cell, range A1, end, and then XL down, because we'll be counting down from cell A1. And then similarly with our column count, so I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste it. So with our column count, we're doing the same thing. We're counting from cell A1, but we want to count to the right. So instead of going XL down, we're going to do XL to right. All right. So now what we're going to do is a nested for loop. So to start off the for loop, we're going to do uh, for i equals 2 to row count. And then we'll have next i. That's going to be the main loop. And what we'll do is we'll set our range in here. So set range equal to ws. And remember, ws is our worksheet, this worksheet here. We're going to set uh, range equal to ws. And the range that we want is going to be cells. And we're going to start um, in, so we're going to start at 2 because i is 2. So we're going to start here. So we want to do cells i and then 1 because you want to stay in column 1. And the range is going to end. That's where the range starts. The range is going to end in the same row. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say i again so i here i here and instead of one we're going to be all the way over here to where at whatever our column count is so we're going to do column count our variable that way depending on how big your range is it won't matter because we've automatically counted for it here with our row count and our column count functions or right. so let's keep going and now we're going to set our conditional count equal to zero. All right, so now for another, for our nested for loop, 
So we're going to do for each RNG cell in RNG. And we'll do next here. What we're going to do is check for each cell in that range, in this range that we um, set equal here. We're going to say if cells RNG cell row RNG cell column display format and then I'm going to use an underscore to continue with this line so if the interior color oops I spelled that wrong right interior color is equal so we have to find out what this interior color is so let's go ahead and put some conditional formatting in so let's say for example column C if the population is greater than 20 million we'll go ahead and add some conditional formatting so conditional formatting um, highlight cell rules greater than let's do 20 million we're gonna get this light red fill with dark red text so we'll hit OK and in order to determine what color this is what we're gonna do is we're going to right click or no no we'll do this conditional formatting manage rules and then we'll click on this rule and edit it and then we'll go to the format and then if you click on more colors you can see um, the color combination here the red green blue the RGB so now what we can do over here so we got 255 199 206 so what we can do over here is say if the interior color is equal to RGB and it was 255 199 and 206 then what we're gonna do is conditional count is going to equal to conditional count plus one and then we can end our if there all right so we're also going to have to let's see here after this for loop what we're going to do is say cell uh, WS cells I and then column count this is where we're going to put the number of conditionally formatted cells so that person asks for it to be on the end of the row so we're going to put the number on the end here in column F so what we're going to do is say WS dot cells so I that I is going to determine what row we are in and then we want to go to the column the end of the column right sorry the column count the end of the row so we're gonna do column count plus one that'll bring us here in column F and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that equal to our conditional count so we'll wanna see zero 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 one zero one and so forth alright so let's go ahead and run it see what we got boom look at that so we've got one, 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 one. You see that? How we've got our number at the end. Um, let's go ahead and add some more conditional formatting. So for column D, let's say if the latitude, which is the um, distance from the equator, uh, up or down. So if it's going to be below, so the saying the equator zero. Um, let's say if it's below the equator, so less than zero we'll use the light red and then the longitude I think that's going to be to the left or the right of um, like I think it's like Greenwich England is where where it's at the meridian um, if it's left of that it'll be a negative number so what we're gonna do is anything less than zero in this case we'll also use conditional formatting All right, cool. So now let's rerun the macro.
and boom, just like that. Now you got two here, one, one, two, one, and you got three here. So yeah, um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.